Welcome to Columbia, Missouri, Memorial Stadium and home to the Missouri Tigers, where we are anticipating quite a clash out for row field today. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on the 10th ranked team in the land, the Missouri Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Missouri ready to kick off to get us underway. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Colorado's offense takes the field for the first time today. And there he is, the man, David, that they build this entire attack around. And it's so nice to have a guy that makes everything easy for the people around him. The quarterback plays better because the feature is clear who that is. And we all hold our breath every time this guy touches the football. He's able to take it the distance on any given play. And these touch passes, it's so hard because there's always action off of it, right? If I fake this pass and I can run it up the gut or I can throw it and it just spread me out and make me defend so many things. And you could tell they got on the edge quickly, got the big first down. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down. Pulls it in. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, one of the reasons you go for vertical is because you know you've got dudes that can stretch the field. This guy is one of the fastest receivers in college football, so I love the play call, taking advantage of that speed to go make a big play. Inside the 30 at the 29, it's a first down. From the gun, the ground game. Got enough for the first. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Looking to pass inside the red zone. He's got an open man. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. And this offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions, right? We just saw a big play in the running game. Now we see one in the passing game. There's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down. A first down run on the doorstep. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Second and goal for this offense. He finds his man. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense rounding to the football? They've marched it down to the four, but now facing a third and goal. Looking to throw, it's Sanders. Fires into the end zone. Oh, picked off. And how about that play by the defense here early in this game opening drive, facing one of the best quarterbacks in all of college football, and they're able to get an interception. That is going to be massive for their confidence in this game. First down here for the offense. On the ground, it's Carroll. 
And he slid through that attempt, and he's got room. Yeah, it's a really good job with the misdirection, right? Bringing somebody's one direction with so much speed, the defense reacts. Now you bring another guy the other direction. Hard to see one and then react to the other, especially with that kind of speed on the field. And that's why you had a big play. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Unloads quickly. The quick passing game does several things. One, it doesn't let the pass rush get to you. Those great defensive linemen, the ball's coming out so fast they can't get there. And then what else? It gets me ahead of the sticks. I don't have to worry about getting in long yardage and predictable situations. After the run, second and medium. From the gun, the running back has it. At midfield, he's got room. Ripping through the defense. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Missouri wants to go fast. Might as well give it to him again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They thought maybe they could get the defense flowing the wrong way on the counter, but they were not fooled. Get them flowing one way and then maybe hit that outside on the other side, right? But they didn't even let it get outside. They kept it right in the middle of the field, did a great job seeing it, going and getting it, being aggressive. you got to find a different way maybe to attack these guys to use their speed against them. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody in the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the punt team gets down there and touches it dead. That's where they'll put it in play. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Looking for space. It's Hayden. Find some room, and that's what you want to get away from the goal line. A five-yard pickup out to the six. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give to the back. Powers ahead, gets four, he's down at the 10. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power, you run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. You gotta keep defenses off balance. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. At the 20, he's got space. Afterburner's coming. Lowers those pads. And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after the big run for this offense. Uh, I mean, what a huge game for this offense. You're always trying to find ways to get your playmakers in space. And when you create a hole like that, Palmer, good Lord, anybody's going to be able to run through. Then he just keeps chewing up those yards, makes the big play. He's a difference maker, David, and he gets better as the game goes on. So that's great news at this juncture to kind of rip off a big run like that. But this is a guy that builds momentum as he goes. I'd be force-feeding this guy more as the game goes on. Finds his open man. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And they might have the defense's head spinning a little bit now. Hit him with a big run, now they hit him with a big pass. Man, it's so hard to defend both. You know that. Which coverage do I want to put? Do I want to put more people in the box to stop the run? When you've got this kind of balance on offense, the defense can't be right.
keeping it on the ground with the single back. Works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three. The Buffaloes are in the hurry up. The RPO fire complete to the left. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Colorado! I tell you, when this drive started, the defense thought they had them in a hole. Not anymore. What a performance. And I really like the play calling by the offensive coordinator on that last drive. That was a nice mixture of running and throwing and getting different players involved. Really nice job. Very poised in that play calling, and it showed up with a touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7 0. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his spot. And the returner will be dragged down. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. Hands it off. The Tigers get enough for the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Good job reading the defense by the quarterback on that RPO feed. He waited to see how the defense was going to play the run. He saw defenders bite up close to the line of scrimmage, and right away he knew he had the slant throw right in behind him. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. They've switched ends of the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Let's see what they do on third down. Back to throw. It's Cook. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they don't drag him down until he gets all the way to the 46-yard line. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. On the run, it's Carroll. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, Blumen making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. 
Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He's looking to throw. Using the quick game. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. What a weapon these wide receiver screens can be. Not only do you get a convoy blocking, you get dynamic running. When you do this and you show me the threat of throwing this wide receiver screen, it makes me play defense differently. It makes me have more guys out wide, which opens the box inside. So I think it's really smart for coordinators and offenses to continually throw these screens to playmakers. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. You've got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. And the Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. Nose is ahead to the 30-yard line to pick up of one. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Leaves it with the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. That's exactly what they told us they wanted to limit. Yards after the catch, and it pays off on this play. And especially in these situations in third down when you know the ball's going to come out fast, understanding that, breaking on the football, going, making the tackle, and forcing the fourth down. Right down the boulevard. It's good. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. On the run, it's Hayden. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Grabbed in the middle, it's Hunter. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. They go for vertical, and I love that play call. This is one of the best receivers in the country. This play's tailor-made for him. He does a great job with the route. He understands coverages, and he's got a great catch radius. What a good play call for this particular player. 
And the Buffaloes are on the move. They'll run play action. Caught near the sticks. It's Hart. Touchdown, Bucks! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. Let's see. He can block. He can catch. He can run. Yeah, let's just forget about the blocking for now. The catching, the running, the scoring is dangerous. And they do the dirty work, but this is what they would prefer to do. These guys want to catch touchdown passes. Most of these guys were wide receivers in high school, and they show you why. They'll go up, get that football, make plays for the quarterback. Lining up for the PAT. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a 35-yard pass for six. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be knocked down. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. They're going to have to be more aggressive in this drive. You can't expect to win this one, David, kicking field goals. No, especially when you're trailing. You've got to have a little more urgency and maybe a little more aggressiveness, Jesse. And field goals are not going to get it done down the stretch. Yeah, you're going to have to take some shots, no doubt. Bottom line, when plays present themselves, you just simply got to make them. Missouri gets to the line quickly. They'll try the run. Sweet cut there. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. It's not a flashy play call, but that is exactly what it was designed to do. Get two yards, get the first down. It's first down from back at their own 24-yard line. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Nice move to pick up yardage. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. The Tigers have it with a first and ten. Right back to the well. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Wants to throw. It's Cook. Quickly complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. You've got to throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. They'll try to get the first through the air. Gets it out quickly. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big-time playmaker outside picks up the first. Pulls it in. It's Burden. 
And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and of being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. And he's knocked down immediately, but they're in the red zone at the 14. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he... Touchdown, Missouri! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost, no problem. When you start in the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety, you get worried about that. The offense puts a great drive together, great job executing, great job getting a touchdown. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Dropping back, it's Sanders. It's complete on the right side. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. Slant routes. They're good against man coverage, but they're good against zone coverage, too. If that receiver can find the soft spot between the linebacker and the DB, you'll take that throw all day. He's back to throw on second down. Grab near the marker. It's Horn. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. He's looking to throw it. Snagged in the middle. It's Horn. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. A strike downfield. Flying down the left side. Touchdown, Buffaloes! He broke away from the defense, and they couldn't catch him. Wait, can, can I get the director to give me a replay of that? I want to count the defenders. Uh, one, two, three. I mean, there's no way they had 11, right? Yeah, I mean, that, that is frustrating. Defensively, what are you taught? Like, make them earn it, right? Play, play man, press up on them, make them earn it, make them go the length of the field, don't give up big plays or just give up big plays and don't have anybody in the camera shot and don't have anybody there to even miss a tackle. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish the drive with a big play through the air, scoring from 51 yards out. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. On the run from inside his own five. 
Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Looking downfield, it's Cook. Fires to the big fella. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A spirited environment there in Columbia. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. The Buffaloes will boot it away to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense and I've got the lead, they've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing, considering they did have success in the first half. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. The defense got caught that time, and they finally get him on the ground at the 41. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field, and they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Missouri wants to go fast. From the gun, give on the inside. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll give it to the back. Ball's out. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Offensive players, when they got the ball in their hand, they're trying to make plays, right? Trying to make you miss. There's nothing better than closing that gap and sticking that head right in that guy's chest and causing a fumble. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Let's see what they've got on second down. Off the play fake. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. It's complete. A huge pickup. Touchdown, Colorado. What a grab and go for the score. Well, this offense looked unstoppable in the first half, lighting up the scoreboard, and it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive of the third quarter, march it down the field, and score. There is no end in sight for these guys.
and he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. They're lining up to boot it away. On the move from inside is five. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger stat in football than turnovers. You turn the football over, they turn it into points. Jesse, that is not a recipe for success. Good news, though, they get another chance, right? They can make amends with this drive right here. That's all that's important. You've got to execute and you've got to lock in. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Just wanted to find a little space to run and ekes out some to get it up to the 21. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Great job by the quarterback, the running back, and the offensive line, really selling pass. That's step one. If you're going to run an effective draw, it's got to look like pass, and then boom, you sneak it right to the running back, gets a big gain, and gets a first down. Mizzou coming out with a fresh set of downs. They're going to ride this running back. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Missouri will have to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep plowing it on until they find an answer. Went to the running game on first down. Now second down. Wide out in motion. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Now the play fake. He tries to take the top off. And the third down pass is incomplete. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? And the Buffaloes send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon.
Running it back, it's Burden. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. They'll give it to him again. Just buried it. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. They think there's room to run to the right here. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that handoff to the right and you see that blocking and all the holes open up, that's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side, they just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Handoff to the lone back. How about that determined run inside the red zone? He's got six. It's down at the 12. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll try to power their way ahead. Didn't get much, picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. On fourth down, trying to keep the drive alive with the run. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. A first down for the offense. Hey, if you're going to go for it on fourth down, if you decide to run the football, you've got to be sure up front that you're going to win in the trenches. They didn't get it done that time. They need to be more physical moving forward. They're going to try to do that again in the same type of situation in this game. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Line getting set on second down. Gonna run it. It's Hayden. And he finds enough running room, and he's marked down at the 20. I think a big key in this team's success today has been their ability to run the football. They've been able to just hand it off and go churn out yards. They've had this defense on their heels all game long. It's given them a big cushion in this game so far. Let's see if they can keep it up. He'll pull it on the read. And the Buffaloes pick up the first down. I'll tell you, the running backs and the quarterbacks in this offense, they got to give a lot of their success running the football to this offensive line up front. They're getting tremendous push. It doesn't matter who has the football, who's keeping the football. You're just seeing this group up front drive this defense backwards. The Buffaloes getting set on first and ten. Handoff from the gun. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. 
all the way out to the 38-yard line. It's a gain of 15. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing it. They want to run it left here. At the 40, there he goes. Ripping off a huge chunk of yardage, and he's got it just outside the 10 of the 11. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead, so you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. After that huge play right back at him on first and 10 from inside the 15. Fast motion from the offense. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Scanning the field, it's Sanders. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? Here comes the field goal unit. And this one ought to be nice and easy, a 22-yard attempt. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And now the lead is even bigger. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. Trying to find his man on first down. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. you got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. This time it's complete. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Looking to pass. It's Cook. Good timing on the quick out. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. 
The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Gets it out fast. Stop is made at the 44, but it's a 15-yard gain and a first down. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. Missouri really moving on offense, set up with another first down. They're going to throw it again. Quick strike complete. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And I love the quarterback's accuracy. Hit him in stride, man. Hit him where he can catch the football and continue to run and do more damage after the catch like he did right there. Missouri gets to the line quickly. He'll come out throwing on first down. And the ball is picked off. Got some room to run. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They had this thing in a hammerlock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Paul. They've done what they want in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. After picking up a couple at second and eight, Movement here from the tight end. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Back to pass, it's Sanders. Fires to the middle. It's caught. Bulldozes him. The expressway is wide open. Touchdown, Bucks! And the beatdown has ensued. He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish the drive with a 64-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. This offense needs something to feel good about. It hasn't been very productive today, Jesse. Well, I think it's just important they stay aggressive, try to throw the football, and just see what this quarterback can do here at the end of the game to build confidence for the next time they take the field. Yeah, and there hadn't been much good today. But uh, build confidence, sure. But just show your team you're going to keep fighting no matter what the scoreboard says. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Looking for a man. It's Cook. Got him downfield. 
Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. They flexed out that tight end a little bit, and you know the tight end's always open. Always open. Quarterback's best friend, and this guy's a problem, Reese. He's a matchup problem because he's too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. He's showing you his athleticism there. Throws to the tight end. Wide open downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And I love the big tight ends because they got those big catch radius. You can throw it anywhere near them and they're going to catch it. And break tackles, the big physicality after the run, getting some extra yards when it wasn't there. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. Good quickness to grab it off the deflection. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, Tigers! And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It, it would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense, continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. PAT unit on the field. Blitz the uprights. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the final 34 yards covered by that touchdown pass. Maybe feeling a little better about things. Still a 21-point game as they're set to kick it off. Here he comes from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Out of the gun, the inside give. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one, and they went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face.